I am excited on a much smaller scale of uh, Mars, U- Europa, or Titan, or Venus potentially having very like bacteria-like life forms, just on a on a small human level. It's a little bit scary, but mostly really exciting that there might be life elsewhere mm-hmm. in the volcanoes and the oceans all around us, mm-hmm. teeming, having little societies. And whether there's properties about that kind of life that's somehow different than ours. I don't know what would be more exciting if those colonies of single cell type organisms, what would be more exciting if they're different or they're the same? If they're the same, that means through the rest of the universe, there's life forms like us, something like us everywhere. If they're different, that's also really exciting Mm because there's life forms everywhere that are not like us. That's a little bit scary. I don't know what's scarier, actually. <laughs> I think it's both scary and exciting, no matter what, right? The idea that they could be very different is philosophically very interesting for us to open our yes. aperture on what life and consciousness and and self replicating possibilities could look like. The question on are they different or the same? Obviously, there's lots of life here that is the same in some ways and different in other ways. Um, when you take the thing that we call an invasive species is something that's still pretty the same hydrocarbon based thing, but co-evolved with co-selective pressures in a certain environment, we move it to another environment, it might be devastating to that whole ecosystem because it's just different enough that it messes up the self-stabilizing dynamics of that ecosystem. So the question of are they, would they be different in ways where we could still figure out a way to inhabit a biosphere together? or fundamentally not. Fundamentally, the uh, nature of how they operate and the nature of how we operate would be incommensurable is a deep question. Well, we offline talked about uh, mimetic theory, right? It it seems like if they were sufficiently different, where we would not even, we can coexist on different planes, uh, it seems like a, a good thing. If we're close enough together to where we'd be competing, then it's you're getting into the world of viruses and pathogens and all those kinds of things to where we would, uh, one of us would die off quickly through basically mass murder without even- Even, without, even accidentally. Even accidentally. If we just had a self-replicating single-celled kind of creature that happened to not work well for the hydrocarbon life that was here that got introduced because it either output something that was toxic or utilized up the same resource too quickly and it just replicated faster and mutated faster. It wouldn't be a um, mimetic theory, conflict theory kind of harm. It would just be uh, a a von Neumann machine, a self-replicating machine that was fundamentally incompatible with these kinds of self-replicating systems with faster OODA loops.